Kia ora. Hey, hi there guys. Hi YouTube. Welcome to May 2016 Earth Prediction Series. I haven't been able to get this done until today, which from the New Zealand perspective is the 2nd of May, because my cards were out on loan to a local philosophical university group that were um, using them. However, they did create a little bit of consternation within the group, one could say. So I think we got thoughts wavering off the philosophical debate of life and onto something slightly more esoteric. So anyhow, let us look into collective conscious energies for the month of May and see what's around for these Earth energies and our planet and the people on it. So May 2016, Fortune, the Beauty, Libido, the Message, the Wheel, that's five. Now because I didn't have these cards with me, I had decided that I would probably try and do a similar reading utilizing the Rider Waite deck, but the side cards have turned up so we are going to use them. But I'm also going to pull one card from the Rider Waite and see if I can interpret the energies of this deck in the unusual manner that I do with the side cards. So let's see what card comes forth for this um, collective conscious reading for the Earth energies for May. And we have here the Knight of Pentacles. So we'll get to that one. Let's start with the card on the left, the far left, which is the Fortune card. I'll turn my camera a little bit. You know, primarily you would look at that card a little bit like the Peace card, which was the very beginning of April, and you would think, wow, that's a way cool card. It looks prosperous and we're talking about the manifestation of finances. So I tend to think that um, these cards always kind of have a reverse perspective when we're doing this type of reading. So I see the fact that this guy is underground and holding a lantern up as if he's trying to find his way out of something. So for me I get the feeling that finances would, could be more limited in May. So there might be something that jolts the financial sector one way or another and could bring finances to some sort of um, halt or as if they're trying to bring themselves up out of the depth of something. So I think May finances may not flow as well as they have been in the last couple of months. Now this in theory would be global, but you may see it with the bigger monetary areas of the world like the greenback, the yen, and the Chinese dollar, and the uh, European dollar. It may also have something to do with the Australian, uh, the Russian, and the New Zealand, we'll have to keep our eyes open. But given that this Knight of Pentacles down here is also about finances, and um, I think there has to be a connection of money. Now normally in the traditional Rider Waite deck, we know that this would exemplify an offering of money or a sign of prosperity. So you've got to get all of that thought and idea out of your mind and re-establish new energies for this card. And again, I would have it as seeing He's looking out into the future to see if he can regain the balance or regain any new vitality for finances. So I definitely think May will see us um, have some sort of stagnation or downturn effect in the monetary sectors. And bear in mind too, this could be the coins. It literally could be gold and silver, could take a downturn, as well as your oils or your, um, your fuels around the planet. We come to the next card, the beauty. And we see here the energy of the feminine. So quite often this card can turn up when there are large female activities around the planet, such as someone who speaks up for female rights one way or another, or the female agenda in life, or, or the lack of rights, or some sort of disharmony 
that is done to females is brought to the light. Now this can often be in countries where female representation is not balanced and is not equi equitable with the males or um, or there could be something to do with a group of females. Maybe I wonder if something in May about the girls that went missing, was it a year or more or so, that the Boko, Boko Haram group took and stole, those 200 girls. It can be that type of message that can come through. As well, we might see some unusual activity with a famous celebrity or female leader of a country or... Um, such as the Queen, and she has just had her birthday, of course, in um, the very, very beginning of May, so this could be her exuding that energy. It could be one of the royal family members, because, of course, today, I think it is, is also Princess Charlotte's birthday. So we've got that energy coming in. And often this beauty card reminds me, or gives me the feeling of, energies around the Europe or the UK sector. So that card really does... Um, combine its energies right now with the royal family. We'll keep our eyes open to see if there's a little bit more activity in the royal family or any other announcements or things going on. I did note too that Princess Catherine had also been on the cover of a magazine, I think it was Vogue. So they have all been in the limelight lately. So the other thing that it can indicate is, um, as I said, celebrities, Prime Ministers that are female, politicians or global leaders, somewhere or another there is attention attracted to them. We come here to these three cards and they feel very connected and this could be towards the end of May. The libido card, I've talked about this before, it's a very very powerful card. It has extremely strong energies and when it's out on the table it's as if to say you better watch out and listen up. It is often about severe weather storms or things that create floods and um, damage. So, and often it is derived from stormy weather. Um, now this can be due to activity on our sun, which can affect our earth. Well, not can, it does. So there's a whole feeling here of this connectivity because we see this card as well, which is the message card which is also about water. This looks particularly dishevelled like off a fishing trawler. It is, it's a net that's been caught in the water and there's rubbish in it and there's dead animals and there's, it's been in the sea. So somehow it's washed up. So this makes me think, unfortunately, of the possibility of a tsunami and um, big storms at sea and things that make our sea turbulent and um, unbalanced and out of kilter. Now we also in these two cards and this one down here we have animals. So there is no doubt that there will be animal die-offs, mass animal die-offs for the month of May and again that can be caused due to magnetosphere abnormalities so all the animals on the planet that track via their own internal magnetic compassing when we get severe magnetic anomalies directed at us, you know, large enough to cause auroras and things like that, these animals get displaced because they lose their bearings. Now a classic example of that is I think just yesterday an oarfish um, was found floating um, somewhere down by Vietnam I think it was. Now oarfish are traditionally quite known to be a sign of an impending large quake coming. So we're getting lots of messages here about the possibility of a large quake and sea activated quake or the sea is being agitated somewhere in May. And we come here to the wheel and we see water again and we see fast rapid flowing water. So we're, we're thinking of storms or quakes that cause this disturbance and some of them can involve mudslides or um, avalanches or landslides as well. So land that is moved due to either quaking or large storms that create disruption and damage things. The wheel also talks about cyclical nature. So whether or not this is part of a cyclical pattern that has to do with the planetary lineup or whether it's part of um, a seasonal change or the solar pattern. So there is a pattern designed within the whole layout as well. 
and that could be also when we came all the way back to this finances card there could be a pattern in why the finances might be going up or down at, at the same time as well so I think you'll find that May is quite a hefty full-on month that has quite a lot of movement in it definitely um, storm related movement that could be quite damaging and the potentiality for large quakes both land and sea that will create damage so there we are guys not the best of message but um, even before I had dealt these cards about a week or so ago I was kind of um, thinking of the May reading and I got the message then and it just kept coming to me and I knew this card was going to be here and I thought ah oh, it's like in the message of a tsunami so remember too this can be inland tsunamis of which we've seen a great deal of lately our planet is changing and our weather is changing in particular our weather patterns have become much more violent with an increased number of the amount of severe storms and bizarre storms including things like hail that are the size of um, balls you know large balls like bigger than a golf ball a softball and these storms are getting more and more frequent and more and more severe so you somehow we have to try and think what is causing all this what is causing this change and where are we headed and we have to try and collectively group together to see if there are ways of working around it or making our civilizations in a safer place and more readily able to deal with the traumas that come with these changing weather patterns. So there we are all, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you find these particular portions of my readings really interesting because they are usually very very accurate and they're also really insightful. Thanks again guys, kia kaha to you all, much aroha, namaste.